Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm bringing you this summer makeup look using the hottest and newest luxury beauty products. We have here a ton of new products, the new Gucci Glow Hydrating Mist. Also, we're gonna be playing around with Chantecai's new anti-aging face tint i do also have the new victoria beckham beauty highlighter stick in reflect i do want to play a little bit more with the new levage water fresh complexion touch i already have a review on this one but i actually purchased another shade b40 so we will be playing with it also i picked up the new lancome serum infused volumizing mascara i do have here the new huda beauty full filter luminous matte concealer also the new lip glosses from victoria beckham beauty a fragrance oh my goodness the newest fragrance from christian louboutin and this one is lubimar look at this oh my gosh you have to wait and see <laughs> so anyhow my friends i also have a new water fresh blushes from chanel as well as the new divine blush duos from pat mcgrath i mean i have a ton of new products oh also the new sydney grace brushes oh so i'm just super excited to be playing around with new makeup let's just get it started with this so as you can tell i have nothing on my face honestly my face feels hot and it must be because it is hot outside we top it to 90 degrees <laughs> it is very hot so this comes in handy the new gucci glow hydrating mist it has hyaluronic acid in it and it's supposed to give you a glow to hydrate to prep and by the way all the products that i will be using today i will be leaving them on the description box below along with the links where to find them and you know my friends when you shop through my links you are supporting my channel and i greatly greatly appreciate it so here it is i mean Gucci, they know what they are doing with the packaging. Is it <sighs> so pretty? Okay, let's see how is the mist. Okay, the mist is very soft. Yeah, it's not heavy. So let me just shake it because I don't know if you can tell, hopefully you can, but it seems like it has a little bit of like oils. What well, it says right here, that's half black rose oil. But I don't know if you can see, it has like, like little bursts of oil. So let's go for it. And I do have very sensitive skin, so if my skin doesn't agree with this, it's just gonna burst. <laughs> it's just gonna turn even more red. Okay. So far, so good. There's no glitter. There's not a lot of, a ton, a ton of glow either. So that's good. So far, so good. And it feels very fresh, very refreshing. That's how it feels. Okay, now let's go for this product that I'm super excited about. It is the Chantecai Anti-Aging Face Tint. And reading right here on Chantecai's website, it says a uniquely lightweight and sheer gel cream that glides onto the skin to instantly add a touch of sun wherever it's applied boosted with anti-aging botanicals that smooth the skin for a youthful look okay let's open it up right here i know that looks deep and it does have a very slight scent of like rose water oh my gosh is that too deep Definitely you can spread it with your fingers, but you know what? I really want to try this Shiseido Hanatsuaki Hake, sorry, it's a polishing face brush. And I purchased these upon the recommendation of my friend Grace from Everyday Edit. She always showcases this baby. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my goodness. And it's so soft. I mean, Shiseido does an amazing job with their products. So I'm just going to... Spread it with this, see how this goes. Oh, it does give a beautiful glow. This is lovely. Okay, 
I'm going to add a little bit more on the other side of my face. This is how much I'm using. It's a good amount. Well, now I have a suntan. <laughs> I mean, pretend, right? Not, not a real one. Oh, oh, I love this so much. So, so much. This is gorgeous. This is what I was hoping to be the new makeup by Mario. Uh, what is it? The Enhancer or the Perfector? The cream one. And this brush spread it seamlessly and so easy and the tint is not too much i do have a light to medium skin tone if you are wondering about my shade matches they will be also in the description box below okay friends so i think i have enough right here to work with perhaps i can use a new chanel water fresh complexion touch like i said when i did my review i did it with the shade b 30. I ended up purchasing B42 because summer months are coming and why not? I have been really, really enjoying this product. It's unique. It does have a beautiful pigmentation. It just looks wonderful. You have to go and see my review. But anyhow, I'm just going to apply a little bit right here. And if you want to see a comparison with B30, since I have you here, why not? Right. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it a little pinch right here. I have B40 and B30. And I'm gonna let it dry so you can see how it looks when it's all nice and dry. And I'm gonna use the brush that this complexion touch comes with. And I'm just gonna use the shade B40. Just kind of like a spot, kind of like a spot conceal certain areas. The front of my cheek. I also have a few sunspots here and there. Just a little. It's just adding a little bit of coverage, not, not a whole lot. And I have to be honest with you, I'm a little bit afraid on the next product. This is the new Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte <laughs> Concealer because I'm using something so lightweight or something so ethereal ah, i don't know anyhow this new concealer from huda beauty is made in italy it has a shelf life of 12 months it comes in this kind of frosted component it's not glass and i got it in the shade marmalade 3.3 b and it's supposed to be a full coverage concealer matte finish it does have vitamin e and sweet almond oil in it to condition and care the delicate under eye skin that's what it says right here so let's see i'm just gonna use a little bit as you can tell i do have very dark under eye circles so oh my gosh <laughs> this is a really big double applicator look apply a couple dots and I'm not using color corrector. I'm gonna go with this Sydney Grace brush. Sadly, they do not have a number on the handles, at least that I can see, no, or name. But it's a compact brush, so I'm thinking, okay, this will be good to spread the concealer. Oh yeah, spreading it really well. The brush is super soft. Wow. Definitely great, great coverage. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more. The only thing I will have to say, when you pull it out, be careful because the dog food applicator is so large that you can get a splash. I mean, as you can tell, look at the outside ring. There's a little bit of a spill right there. 
I don't have a new setting powder. I mean, this is new technically. Is the Westman Atelier Vital Press Skincare Powder that I have been loving. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know what? I, I want to see if this concealer crease. So I'm going to set just one side and the other side I'm just going to leave it as is using my Wayne Girls brush. And this is the translucent shade. It's going to set my right hand side. Going next with the new No Limits Cream Bronzer Sticks by LYS. I got them in two different shades. They honestly, when I'm looking at them, they seem like that they are more of like a contour kind of shade, more than a bronzer shade. I have it here in the shade Motivate. And I think that would be a little too light for my skin tone. Oh, by the way, here are the Chanel swatches, B40, B30. Now this will work for my skin tone if I want to use it as a contour. Let's see on the other shade, which is Harmony. Oh, this is fairly deep. Oh, no, 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 that's way too deep, <laughs> way too deep, and can you see, cooler tone, yep, so I'm going to go with the shade Motivate, yep, it does have a grayish tone, okay, feel creamy, I don't know if this is the best best shade for me but let's go for it again another sydney grace brush beautiful handles very different in a point ending and this is a little bit dense i think this is a foundation brush okay the lys stick really blend super easy Super, super easy. That didn't took any effort right there. And we need a bronzer, but don't you worry because I ended up purchasing the new NARS Laguna bronzers. I have mine from last year when it was limited edition in the shade Laguna Sun Kiss that right now it has come back as Laguna number two. And then I purchased the number three and the number four. So I'm going to swatch them so that way you can see them side by side. This one right here is the original one, number two. I mentioned it that I feel like this is a little bit cool tone for my skin tone. So I really got excited to see this shade right here. This is the number three. Yep, definitely this one is more warm tone. You see, like this one looks kind of like dirty. <laughs> this one looks more like a bronzer. And then I have here also the shade number four. And number four looks like a shade a little bit more reddish in tone uh -huh. yep so i have two three and four okay let's go for number three and i'm going to be using sydney grace foundation brush just a little right there mm, is too much oh my gosh mm. Oh no, did I grab too much? Hopefully not. Okay, let's hope for the best. Okay, that blend really nice, really good. I was scared for a moment that that will not blend, but it blend nicely. You know what? I feel like I need a little bit more warmth. For some reason, these bronzers, they are looking a little bit too neutral for summertime, at least. I'm going to go with a shade four, just a pinch because <laughs> noticing how much pigmentation they have. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's great. That's really, really good. Actually, the shade number four looks 
very nice using just a little amount though what do you think my friends i think the shade number four actually added a little bit more heat to my face without being too much obviously i went just i dip in very very lightly now let's play with some blush i have here the new chanel lavage water fresh blushes i'm gonna go with this shade peach i have a full on review here on my channel but one thing that i have noticed from these blushes and perhaps if you already have them you can confirm with me if i'm right or wrong right here I feel that they actually develop and get a little bit darker as time passes. For some reason, when I leave it on my skin, I don't know, I just feel like they develop a little, that they get just a little bit deeper without oxidizing. I mean, like they become just a little bit stronger. I'm going with the shade Light Peach right here on the front of my cheeks. And I also think that they should have, have included a brush with these blushes, just as they did with the water jean and the complexion touch. But hey, this Sydney Grace brush is just perfect for it too, so it's just fine. Okay, so this is light peach, and then I'm just going to drape it a little with the shade Intense Coral, which is such a stunning shade. right here yeah so good oh so pretty look at that this is summer yes this is summer and some people had asked me for the longevity i think they are long wearing do not expect you know a whole lot like so many hours but they do stain a little at least the deepest shades and they stain in a good sense not not a whole whole lot but you can give them a good solid six hours if you don't set them if you set them i think eight hours yeah you will still see the blushes there so i think they are good long wearing okay now going for a new product from victoria beckham beauty they have sent me their new highlighter stick in reflect and it is my understanding that this shade is more of like a universal shade so there is a little bit of translucency oh my gosh you see this oh <gasps> This is gorgeous. You know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that old Hollywood style, like the Gucci one. Look at that. <gasps> love, love it. Yeah, when I saw it first, I'm like, does it come in different shades? Because, I mean, we have seen all her other blushes on a stick coming in different shades. But, again, they say that this is more of like a um, universal kind of tone, which I'm excited for. Right here in the middle. I'm gonna swatch it. Yeah, it's kind of like pearl lines. I'm gonna go with my Linda Hulbert 306 brush. Definitely soft and translucent too. I can definitely see that glossy kind of effect. Glow from within, a little bit like wet kind of look. What was that trend? Um, the dolphin skin, right? Which is basically, you know, wet skin that looks very like soft and yeah, this is a very forgiving kind of highlighter. Not really a true highlighter as back on the time, but actually one that I like the most. Look at that, you see right there? That's so pretty. Very pretty. I mean like oh, Victoria Beckham. She knows, she knows what she's doing. She, I love the aesthetic of her products, packaging, but the most important thing is the end up look, how everything looks on your face. It's just so beautiful. You know, let's quickly check right here, the concealer. Mm, it's not creasing. Perhaps just a little bit of gathering, but honestly, not creasing. 
liking the concealer quite a bit and honestly I feel like I don't even need to use a color corrector which I usually use because of my dark under eye circles. Okay, let's move on to the eyes. Anastasia Beverly Hills, her new Nouveau palette. I have done already a review with all the swatches, comparisons to Tiny Marbles. I also compared it to the Jackie Aina one and I created two looks. So let's go for it and create why not a third look right here on this video? I'm going to go first with the shade Paloma and I'm applying it all over the eyelid. I'm going to go with the shade Flu and I'm taking it on the outer V and also on the crease. I'm going to go with Metro. And I'm just gonna deepen out the outer V. I'm gonna take this slanted brush and I'm gonna go with the shade Lily. And I'm gonna take it on kind of the outer third, but not taking it all the way till the end. I'm gonna go with the shade Wings, which is a gorgeous, between a frosty, minty, sage kind of shade. So pretty and I'm just gonna take it on the inner third of my eyelid going with this other Sydney Grace brush I'm gonna go to the flow shade and I'm just gonna diffuse the lower lash line I went ahead and cleaned the same brush and I'm gonna go with the shade Isle and then taking it right in the middle of the eyelid Such a gorgeous shade. It's really summer, like tangerine kind of shade. It's a very unique shade. I don't have many shades like this shade aisle in my collection. And honestly, it looks so beautiful. And that's the same reason why I think this palette is so versatile in terms that you can use it for spring, summer, fall, and winter. It just, it does have a really lovely color creation. I'm going to be using this definer brush, again, Sydney Grace, and I'm going to go to the shade Muse. And I'm just going to take it very close to my lower lash line. Going to the Sydney Grace defining brush, I'm going to go to the shade Paloma, which is the lightest shade, and I'm going to take it on my inner corner just to brighten it up and on my brow bone I also went ahead and purchased the Victoria Beckham Beauty Setting Kajal in bronze so if you have been watching me you know that I love the shade Coco but you know I I don't know how I miss this shade right here so here it is and let me just show it to you it's a beautiful Oh, like almost khaki tone oh look at me I went ahead and <laughs> swatch it on top of the highlighter so I think this will look super good with this look and because it's a kajal it's really easy to line and smudge oh my gosh this looks amazing you know interesting is bronze but like I said it has a little bit of kind of like a green undertone or khaki undertone and then I'm taking it also on my waterline very very pretty it shows a little bit of green no matter what I'm gonna go with my roller liner from Benefit and just outline very closely my lash line just a little Ooh, that's different right there kind of like a dual liner for mascara i picked up the new lancome le Rui hymnos which is a serum infused volumizing mascara and i love lancome mascaras they are some of my favorite mascaras for years and look at this packaging oh my goodness 
It's a serum infused long lasting mascara powered by 91% black balm and 8 amino acids to plush, volume, and visible revitalize lashes over time. Okay, well, let's try it. And let me show you the wand. Oh, this one. It's not super big, but it's kind of like an hourglass wand. And I don't see that it's carrying a lot of product either. Okay, it's a thick kind of mascara. The mascara is giving me a lot of separation and definition. Not much of length, but more volume. Definitely it's not a wet mascara. It's more of like that thicker consistency it feels like you know when you have your mascara and you use that for a few times and it just feels a little bit more dry that's the way that this feels and for the lips i got the new victoria beckham beauty posh glosses she came out with four very like nude kind of shades inspired by the 90s and now she has come out with these other shades that they are called the posh gloss spritz <laughs> a high shine range of effervescent pinks i'm so excited because i love 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 victoria beckham beauty glosses they are just so amazing so let's just try them all packaging the same I really love that across the board she keeps the same kind of like packaging. Love that she came out first with neutral tones and now she is giving us some pinky tones. Ah, how do I grab this? <laughs> there you have it. Ooh, so pretty. These shades. Wow. Let's go first with the shade Picante, described as a peachy pink. Ah. Nice. I mean, definitely a lip liner with this. It's a very nice milky tone. Oh, I like this shade. And I love the consistency. I mean, you know, my friends, how much I love these lip glosses by Victoria Beckham Beauty. They are so good. Mm. I like this shade a lot. You know, tan, bronze look, it looks so pretty. Picante. Next shade is Bungalow, a neutral petal pink. And by the way, these are glass. Oh, this shade. So gorgeous. Yes, yes. And here's the shade, Bungalow. Aperitivo, a warm rosemary. Oh, this shade is so good. There's no scent to them. You know what? This shade reminds me to Casablanca by Tom Ford the lipstick but in lip gloss version and then the last shade and Victoria's go-to shade Feast a universal cool rose oh this is so beautiful too I see why again you know what this kind of reminds me a little bit now to tone for Indian rose <laughs> In lip gloss version I can see why this is a go-to shade for Victoria it will be definitely a go-to shade for me another product that I just purchased again is from Victoria Beckham Beauty is one of her lip liners in the shade 5 shade 2 it has been the shade that I you know completely love and I just have a small size but I decided to go for the shade 5 
So let's line the leaves. It looks like a deep shade, but it's not super, super dark. Now I'm gonna go with that shade Picante for lip gloss. Beautiful milky tone. I love the contrast of these two shades. I think the makeup looks great. I love the blush, but you know, just for the fun of it, I just reviewed the new Parmagrath Divine Blush Duos, and I have here the duo in Aphrodite Amour. This baby right here. And I'm in love with this shade. So beautiful and vibrant. So why not? And let's just go with the Sydney Grace brush. And let's just set a little bit of blush. Just a tiny bit. I'm not using a lot. Look, just a tiny bit. And here on the lips voila a little kiss right there and to set it all up let's go for the Gucci setting mist shake it it added just an extra glow you notice that just a subtle, subtle glow. It doesn't look greasy, the face. It's just a very soft glow. I'm so excited for this fragrance by Christian Louboutin, the new Lubima Ou Parfum Légère. The box. <laughs> First of all, look at this box right here. Looks amazing. Ooh, I'm so excited. This bottle looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Love all the details. You see the high heel shoes with the red soles and then the anchor. Oh my gosh. And the notes of this fragrance really caught my attention. Another thing to note if you're not familiar with Louboutin fragrances is that they also include a travel cup so if you're traveling and you don't want to take this big top right here you just take it off and then you just put this cup right here just in case so i know that can be something mm, i'm just so excited when i read the notes i was like oh my gosh so let's see top notes lemon sea salt Middle note, tuberose. And you know, my friends. Oh, oh my gosh. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. Oh. Base note, mask. I'm telling you already, this is a winner. This is a total winner for me. You know that I love tuberose. I also love my summer fragrance is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. That is like my everyday fragrance, pretty much. Well, I love to change fragrances, but it's kind of like okay, sure, secure. But this one is gorgeous. It's not a Santan kind of fragrance, not at all. This is beautiful burst of lemon fizzy oof and then the sea salt you can really smell it pretty much taste it that by by the ocean side i don't know i just imagine my perfect scenario you know friends i love capri and in capri there's a lot of lemons or citrus i imagine being there smelling the beautiful breeze of the sea and then the tuberose i love these tuberose because it's not super green sorry i need to spray more but it's not super green it's not your typical tons of white you know flowers 
is the fresh dew of the tuberose in the morning. That's what it is. And the mask is there, but present so lively that it's just, it's just to anchor, yeah, to anchor the fragrance. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I was so nervous to get it and to do not like it. You know how it is a blind buy because, oh, by the way, this was a blind buy. I was so nervous to do not like it and I have to tell you, I love it. I love it and I'm so happy I got the big bottle because I know I'm gonna use it all the time. I'm so happy. This is an ideal summer fragrance, fresh, vibrant, in terms of like awakening, you know, with that lemony, but the sea salt. Oh, it's so, it's just so beautiful. And it's not your coconut scent. It's not your santan lotion scent. I will have to say that this fragrance, it can go either direction. Totally unisex fragrance. Definitely the tuberose brings a very subtle feminine element, but not too much that a man will not be able to wear this fragrance. I think it's a total unisex fragrance, 100%. I will let you know how this fragrance goes in terms of longevity, projection. I will let you know all of that on another video, but here you have it, my friends, a total successful try-on of the latest new luxury beauty products from makeup, to skincare because, I mean, this Chantecaille anti-aging face thing, stunning, stunning. This is, I like the Makeup by Mario product, but no, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> This is it. And now my friends, I would love to know from you which of these products have you already tried? Which ones are going on to your wish list? Let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, and if you like everything that has to do with luxury beauty, yeah, don't wait too long. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye. -bye.